Now that our Firebase backend is completely configured, it's time to include it inside our Angular application. So to do that, we're going to use a library, a binding, which is called Angular Fire and is specifically designed to interact with Firebase in an AngularJS application. As you can see from the left side, there are also plugins for Ember.js, React Fire, Backbone, Ionic, whatever you need. But in our case, we're going to use Angular Fire, of course. So you might just download each one of the libraries, Firebase.js and AngularFire.js, but we're going to include it by using the CDN. So we'll click on Quick Start, and in the first two rows, we have the files we need to include. So those two, Firebase.js and AngularFire.min.js, okay? So we'll copy that, we'll go back to our index.html, and after including Angular, we're going to include as well those two scripts. And that's our index.html completely configured. We're now potentially ready to use everything that Firebase provides, as well as the additional libraries that we have inside uh, Angular Fire. So we'll open our app.js, and what we need to do first is to include Firebase in our Angular application. So we'll type Firebase in our dependencies, and that's done. And another thing we want to do is to define a constant. We we'll need this constant to uh, create a reference to our backend. So we'll call this constant like something uh, FB Firebase message. And the value of this constant will be our URL. So we'll copy the URL from here. So in my case is in tens dash torch dash blah blah, but you'll have another URL, so copy yours. And we put it inside our constant, okay? Another thing we want to do is to access a specific child of our backend. So if we include the URL as it is, we're going to reference the root element, but we want to reference the events element. Therefore, it will be slash events, okay? And to prove that, I can show you that if I type slash events in my browser, I'm going to see only the events data. So you see intense torch, 3990 and events. So if I go back to 3990, I'm instead in the root element. Our Angular uh, app.js is done, so we can save it. And I can tell you that our application is already included. We built the foundation for integrating our app with Firebase. We have included Angular Fire and the main Firebase core library, and we have as well defined a constant uh, that will be very useful to us. What we're going to see in the next lesson is that we'll start refactoring the event service, the eventfactory.js, so that it will no longer invoke the ng-mock that we built a while ago, but it will use directly Firebase. And the first thing we're going to do is to refactor the event listing and as well as the home page. And if you remember, in the home page, we have events by price and by the two different categories while in Manage Events we have our regular list of events. So I'll see you in the next lesson and we'll see the magic that Firebase will provide to our application.